Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you could join me today and I'm so happy that I get to upload this video today. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to. I just came back from vacation. When was it? Last night? Today is Thursday and I'm posting this on Friday. So I'm very happy to film this intro and to be able to share with you this really cute tutorial that I had promised you, which matches the hat that I had shown you how to crochet last week and those are fingerless mittens as I promised you those match the hat and they're super easy to make they are with the same knit like crochet stitch that I had shown you last week so super easy to make you're just creating it's the same idea as the hat you're creating the brim straight making a rectangle then closing it forming a circle just creating the size that you want for your wrist and then building the body of your mitten crocheting in the round but of course I will take you through it slowly but surely as usual one step at a time but they are super easy to create super cheap it only takes one skin of yarn uh, I will also put all the information about the yarn of course in the info down below here is what they look like I absolutely love them and they keep me warm and at the same time my fingers are free to go on my phone and stuff like that if you are interested in me showing you how to create gloves not mittens but fingers gloves and also show you how to make gloves which you can use with your smartphone or your tablet just let me know because I have a few tricks in my sleeves for that if you are not subscribed to my channel I'm taking them off because they are really making me warm and sweaty if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to join my crochet family. We are getting bigger. I don't check my numbers often, but I was looking at my computer this morning and we are getting closer to 200,000 subscribers, which blows my mind totally blows my mind. I never in my wildest dream thought that we were going to get such a big crochet community and I am so happy about it. I'm so proud of what we have achieved. I am so looking forward to the rest of the journey. I have so many ideas for the year 2019. By the way, if I haven't said it already or if I think I had, but if I haven't said it to you specifically, Happy New Year 2019. I hope the beginning of the year went well for you. And yes, so like I said, I'm looking forward to many, many more creations together in the future. So to subscribe to my channel, it's totally free, super easy. Just click on the subscribe button right here. Don't hesitate to click on that little bell here to be notified every time I post something new. Come and check me out on my social media if you want. I'll post a little bubble right there. And that is about it. If you are interested in knowing how to create those cute fingerless mittens, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, happy crochet and I'll see you next time. Bye. And for this tutorial, you will need a six millimeter crochet hook and one skein of chunky yarn from the Hobby Lobby brand. I love this yarn, chunky, in color mustard. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. And then you are going to proceed by chaining seven. We are creating that little ridge, the part that is going to go on your wrist. And for your first row, you're going to make a single crochet in the first chain and then make another single crochet in the five next chain. So in total, at the end of your first row, you will have six single crochets. And then you're going to chain one and turn your work around. And for that second row, you're going to single crochet, but only in the back loop of your stitch. And you're going to do that in uh, the next four stitches. So in total, you have five stitches, five single crochet worked in the back loop only. And for the last stitch, the sixth one, you're going to make a single crochet, a regular one, through the regular stitch. 
clicking the two loops you're done with your second row and for the third row you're going to chain one turn your work around again and repeat the second row making single crochets but in the back loop only and that is five single crochets and in the last stitch you're going to make a regular single crochet taking both of the loops of that last stitch and you're going to repeat this row until you have 20 rows in total you see the little ridges that we are creating and that is achieved by just taking the back part of the stitch the back loop all right i will meet you at the end of your 20th row And this is what your work will look like sorry about the change of light i was filming during the day and then during the night and then during the day so the lighting is changing all right so we are at the end of our 20th row and now it's time to close that circle so change this long rectangle into um, creating really the part that will be on your wrist and for that you need to attach both of the edges together by slip stitching you put both of the sides right against each other and matching stitch to stitch you're going to pass your crochet to one side and then the other side through both of the stitches and then slip stitch back pass your crochet to one side the other side yarn over through all the loops on your crochet hook and you're going to do that six times This is the fifth and this is the sixth one. All right, so now you have the wrist of your mitten that is done. This is the wrong side of your work. You can see it by the seam. You're going to switch that up to the right side. Here we go. And then you're going to chain one. Until now we had worked in rows, but from now on we will work in rounds. And for that first round, you're going to chain one and you're going to pick up single crochets. One single crochet in that little valley and one single crochet on the ridge. So it's really one single crochet per row. One in the valley, one on that little mountain ridge. So you will have 20 stitches in total picked up at the end of that first round. And I will meet you at the end of your first round. We are creating now the main part of your fingerless mittens your fingerless gloves and at the end of your first round you're going to slip stitch with the first single crochet you had picked up at the beginning of your first round and then you're going to chain one you can grab a stitch marker if you want just to make sure you know where the rounds begin and ends and then we're going to do a round of single crochet but the regular, you know, the same single crochet we had made for our hat tutorial, which is the knit like single crochet stitch. And that is achieved by instead of going in the regular part of your stitch, going in the stitch itself, in between those two kind of sides of the stitch in the middle. Here you go, so you see the stitch from the round one, you go in between that stitch as opposed to where you put your crochet hook usually. So you have that little stitched V-stitch and you're going to poke in the middle of that V-stitch, in the middle right there. And that is what you're going to do all around that second round. And I will meet you once you are done with that second round, once you meet your stitch marker.
All right, so now you're going to continue repeating the same thing around and around and around. And I will meet you at the end of your round 10. So 10 rounds of uh, crocheting in the round, doing that neat like single crochet stitch. All right, so you, here you are. This is what your work will look like at the end of round 10. Super pretty. But now it's time to make a little space for your thumb. Then I'll show you exactly how to do that. You are at round 11. And at round 11, you're going to chain three. So you're really skipping five stitches and you are making a single crochet, same way we have done all the time in that sixth stitch. This is going to be the opening to put your thumb through. And then you are going to finish your round 11 by single crocheting in the middle of the stitch, still always to achieve that knit like stitch. And I will meet you at the end of your round 11, once you meet the stitch marker. Right there. So here we are at the end of your round 11. And for your round 12, you are going to just go inside the chain we just had created. We had made three chain at round 11. Just make a single crochet in each of the three chains, leaving the single crochet we had left on around 11. And for round 12, you're going to go all around again. Place your stitch marker right there so you know where the round begins and ends. And this is your new round. Not working on those stitches we had left, but working on all the stitches of this 12th row, 12th round. Here we go. And now we have the opening for the thumb, just like that. And now you're going to continue single crocheting in the round until you have enough rounds so you have the size that you want. In my case, I continue until the end of round 14. But you know, you have to try it on and see everybody has different hands. Some are longer, some are shorter, so you can adapt it to your hand. And it's the same when you do that brim at the beginning of the pattern. You have to wrap it around your wrist and it has to snuggly be around your wrist and then you just adapt it to your own hand. And that is the magic of crochet. You can exactly do the size you need for your own body and for your own hand. And this is what I love so much about crochet. At the end of that 14th round, you're going to fasten off, take your tapestry needle and needle and sew in the loose tail at the back of your work and you are done with one of your fingerless mitten. You're going to repeat exactly the same thing for the other one, exactly the same thing. And then you are done with your fingerless mittens. How easy was that? Super easy. And now we have the whole set. We have our fingerless mittens that matches our beautiful hat. We are all set. Warm hands, warm head. Bring it on, bring the winter. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you and I am looking forward to many more. And in the meantime, happy crochet. Love you. Bye. See you next time. Are interested in knowing how to crochet or to <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Come and check me out on my social media. Minia. Minia. Mania, social mania. <laughs> January, January. Now I have a question. Will there be one video when I don't have the sniffles? One. I, is it asking too much? I'm asking one. One video when I don't sniffle in your face. Anu Crochet, the sniffling crochet queen. <laughs> All right.
focus and no focus. By the way, have you watched Bird Box? The movie, the new movie everybody's talking about on Netflix, have you? And if you have, did you like it? Comment, let me know, I'm curious. Me personally, I had a love-hate relationship with it. I loved it, but I hated it because it kept me on the edge of my seat for like freaking two hours. It's a long movie too. I was like, <gasps> I have to stop, I have to breathe a little, I had to, yeah, I don't know. I cannot stop thinking about it. Let me know, let me know what you thought about it. Bye.